<laughs> They'll probably hang you, buddy. <laughs> Everybody, Samson's here again, and today I'm going to be doing a thriller review of this Red Dead Redemption 2. And I'm going to be talking about the gameplay thriller. If you have seen it, I'm very sure you have seen it before checking out this video. You will notice that the thriller is actually self explanatory because there is actually a narrator there that is actually giving you the details. So I feel that from the whole um, scenario that the narrator has actually explained. I could figure out that this game is more like a complete package. Like it, it actually fits all types of gamers. There's nothing you are looking for that you find in this game. Let's, for example, the open world exploration, the survival instinct, because there's some part that you have to be moving with your gang, and you guys have to find a settlement and also hunting. So there is a bit of a survival gameplay there bit of criminal activities if it's crime you want to be doing you, know, you want to be, be a good guy be saving people or also be doing good stuff or you can be robbing banks so i feel this game actually it's it provides an edge for adaptability you know no matter uh, no matter the type of gamer that is going to play this game you are going to actually find the type the parts you actually like best like some people they like survival so everybody they like exploration so everybody like criminal activities why some you just like to just free room or ride horses you know just move around so i guess this is like a complete package of, and also i heard about the battle royale mode so it's like everything is being impacted i can actually see the more reason why this game actually took a long time for it to be released like this because it's going to be coming out in october 26 and it's been delayed like like twice now so i feel rockstar doesn't want to just produce anything anyhow they want to give it their best and from this trailer i think they are on their way there and i feel this game is going to really pack up the sales in this, this year and funny enough they've been they've added a system called dead eye system similar to the one that um the gt5 the one michael used to slow down time and the one Franklin uses when he drives, and the one Trevor uses when he's, he's rich. So I guess they kind of added it here. That's why it's pretty obvious that if you play Red Dead Redemption, you see like a similar correlation to GTA 5. So whereby you'll be confused that these developers are the ones that actually produce GTA 5 because all Rockstar games is being kind of um, interwoven. Like, not in terms of story, but in terms of gameplay, like, it's, it's dead. There's not how you play GTA 5 that when you undo Red Dead Redemption 2, you won't, you won't feel it that. It's as if you are playing GTA 5 in another world, basically. So, I feel that gives room for lots and lots of gamers. So I've, and again, Rockstar has really did a good job. Why? Because GTA 5 is currently, as you know, is the um, top-selling game of all time. And imagine that kind of audience GTA 5 has gathered. So I feel Rockstar actually used like wisdom in producing this game because they knew GTA 5 would have gathered more fans and you know giving Rockstar lots of respect and placing them high in the gaming industry. So for them to be releasing a, sec um, a second game, like another game after GTA 5, you know this game is going to play blow in sales. And I figure out that they actually delayed. Not, I'm not saying they delayed intentionally, but probably they delayed intentionally. But they needed to make this game pretty much better and good. But also, it's kind of, it kind of like works in their favor. For what I'm saying here, because GTA 5 has already it has stand the test of time. For what I'm saying, and it has gathered much audience for. So you know that the fans are there. So I, I mean, to me. I don't feel they should, there's no need for any marketing for this game again. Like, it, it, it has already been speaking for itself. Like, you know, for the fact that it's even being created by Rockstar, you know, Rockstar is like a prestige um, gaming 
company that is famous, you know, I, I feel this game is going to really, really be good. Again, yeah, say thanks to the, uh, to the name, like to the developer producing it. And one more thing is that this game is actually more like um, including of choices to be made, like, you know, there are some things you can decide to do and not to do. And there are still some parts where you engage in small, small activities in terms of like Far Cry 5. You know, it's because I know that this game is kind of similar to Far Cry, basically, like, in terms of guys some ideas, like when you have to trade. Because in this game, you can hunt animals. Instead of eating them, you can go to the store go and trade for it for cash. Or you can use to buy stuff. That's how they did in Far Cry 5 too, where you are. But they already added fishing. So in this game too, there are some activities like in Far Cry 5 where you fish. So in this video, you can also fish from this trailer here. And I feel there, there are lots of stories to actually uncover in this game. Lots of stories. And this, the, the, one of the reasons why I like Rockstar 4 is their story. Like, well, I don't know, I don't know where they get their ideas from, but their stories seems to make so much sense to me. I've never played any Rockstar game that I didn't like the story. Even if the gameplay might be bad, but, but that story, that story is always on point. And for someone like we have played GT5 like almost five times now, repeatedly, repeatedly. But every time, I know that every time I, I still come to play the story all over again, it's, it's as if I'm opening new chapters, you get you know, if you play something for once, you won't really fully uncover, understand the whole thing. If you play the game, play the game, play the game. So whenever I keep on playing GTA 5 story mode, the single player, there are so, like, some new things that I didn't understand when I played. Then I played it third time or the first time, I always still get to grab. So it's something like this with the end of the that that's going to be. I'm so guaranteed that. I doubt if anybody will play this game once and fully 100% understand the story because it's kind of interwoven, especially when you never played the part 1 before. But I feel that the part 2 is kind of like a prequel to the part 1, so it doesn't really matter. But I feel to really get the full understanding of the story of this game, you have to like play the game like at least twice. And this game is actually the type of game that can sink lots of hours into like most of this than maybe let's say 50 hours of gameplay because it's is man this game is engaging and it's it's filled of life like you know the town every town you go to every city you go to it's always like filled up with people and lots of interactions the gameplay there is nice everything is just on point so I, I to me from what I'm seeing here from what the display draws through this trailer I don't think you can be bored in this game. You know, there are lots of activities. And I'm actually, every time you play this game, you surely be uncovering new things, new places. Because from the look of the world here, yeah, this thing is massive. The, game, the world, the open world gameplay is so big. And then, uh, except you guys, except you're a gamer, you type of gamer that explore a lot in video games, that I can see, you can actually uncover everything. You have to sink lots of hours into this game before you can get it. Okay, so you guys, that's just my review about this trailer, and, I'm, and I feel that this game is going to be worth trying out. And I also heard rumors, I'm not sure how true it is, but it's just what I've heard now that this game is going to come in out on PC later. And you know, I'm a PC gamer, so I can't really wait for this game to be out on PC. Seriously, but if not, what can we do about it? <laughs> But I really hope it's going to be coming out on PC. So you guys, keep the date in mind. October 26, 2018, that's when this game is going to be released. I hope it won't be delayed again. But since they're already releasing the gameplay trailers, I think it's, it's already been stamped already. So I feel there's nothing that can happen that will change this date. And you guys, thank you for supporting my channel. If you haven't subscribed, click the subscribe button below and also comment what you think about this game in the description box like the video and see you guys later peace out